Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. You mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damn fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will? And in chains? Yes. No. Can't allow it. Nice of you to worry. But I've made my decision. And I won't change it. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's come, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I wanna thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Still got a bad feeling about this. But tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Hmm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha? For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Hands off. What did you say? Yeah, I sensed it. Knew we couldn't trust him. Witcher, witch. One and the same. So they can burn at one and the same stake? Uh -oh. Eternal flame will burn away our sins. 
Well, well, Triss Merigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat, but the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Merigold, for good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Eilhart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Eilhart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Sedarian. A 1261 vintage, year of the massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! <laughs> Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet.
still haven't paid me for the witch, yet your hunters are already torturing her. What of it? You're damaging goods you haven't paid for yet. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. Don't worry, you shan't leave empty-handed. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. Yeah, I've plowed Triss. But what does it matter if you're paying gold for her head? Oh yeah. <laughs> Nearly forgot the mutation strip witches of feelings. No, no more. Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went wee wee wee. Ow! Oh, bitch bit me! Oh, the bitch bites! Let's put a collar on it. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bird for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit. But I must say no. You see, I have a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When's this morally instructive spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person, Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. So sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. But first, let's see how Miss Marigold fears it. It's grown suspiciously quiet in there. Come. I say this. That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? Manga said Dandelion's locked up on Temple Isle. Dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Manga gave the order. In person. Shit. I'm sorry, Geralt. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... What's done is done. He... he'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. We should think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe, for now. Though out of reach. We don't stand a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable. And Menga's not likely to order his transfer. Or anyone's, for that matter. Could you revive him? Maybe. If I actually practiced black magic. Haven't sunk in that low just yet. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us.
Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I saw Menga burn a sheet of paper right before we came in here. Could have been something on it that would have helped us. Ah, too late now. So there's no way you could recover the note? Sadly, no. I'm a sorceress, not a miracle worker. Nothing but dead ends. We'll need to make do. Breaking Dandelion out starting to look like our last option. Geralt, you know me. I'm all for finding solutions. I don't give up easily. But in this case, there's no hope. Not a shred. No one escapes the dungeons beneath the temple. And no one's ever been broken out. Anyone actually tried? They've tried, Geralt. I've tried, to be exact. Shortly before you arrived. It almost cost me my life. Meng is the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. Or someone who looks exactly like him. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bybervelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen. There is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. Come by when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm. So-so. Why do you ask? Been wondering. How's your hand? Your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. When you slid Menga's throat, and then... You were fierce. Never seen that side of you. What would you have had me do? Conjure up a cloud of butterflies? Not what I mean, and you know it. I'm a little worried how it might affect you. Well, yeah. I'd probably relive it in my dreams if I wasn't already having nightmares about mages roasting on pyres. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Trace. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm.
Fine. Let's meet there. Here's where we split up. You can't... You don't... You won't get... Oh, play it. Fine. Why? No. Keen, no. Don't you worry. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Why the drink? Triss Marigold has been captured. An occasion worthy of a toast, don't you think? Not in the mood. You've two choices, Witcher. Drink or die. Sidarian. A 1261 vintage, year of the massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! <coughs> Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Enough. Let Triss go. Now. What? Who are you to give me orders? A man with a sharp sword who doesn't like to repeat himself. Guards! In here! I think that's all of them. That was close. What happened? I thought Menga took the bait. No, he didn't. Sensed right off it was all a front. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for Enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menga will give you your coin, and Merigold will get what she deserves. No 
torture till I get there. Got it? Got it. No torture. What? The Horson's casting spells. Get him! I think that's all of them. That was close. Axie in a crowd? Geralt, there was no way that could work. Sorry. I couldn't let them torture you. You mean too much to me. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You search the room. I'd start with the desk. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? Take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Bet he does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Key to a vault? No address? Why do I doubt this'll make Dijkstra smile? Well, might keep him from setting his thugs on us. Breaking our legs for failing to fulfill our part of the bargain. Meaning glass is half full? Of something strong, I hope. All right. Nothing left for us here. Let's go. Be glad to. Just not by way of the main gate. <laughs> 